Okay. First of all, thank you so much for being here. Well, we're going to start here. Unbelievable election. And I want to thank everybody that watched last night. 21 viewers that on, on one of the uh, Facebook live shows, 23 on the other. That's a record for me. And thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I still don't know what to think about the election results. It's absolutely shocking. Um, I'm going to have to ask John Elway. Um, George Stefanoff was, he called it the biggest political upset in history. I mean, all signs pointed, pointed towards Clinton winning. You know, when you look at real clear politics, when you look at the polling, every time I've done that over the last eight years or so, you can kind of see who's going to win. In a Senate race, in a presidential race, you can, it, it kind of adheres to those polling results, and it was just completely different. The states that he, you know, in Pennsylvania and Michigan, states that it didn't look like he had a chance to win. Um, I like Trump's personality, but, but I'm against the wall. How are we going to get these drugs in if we have a wall? I mean, they're legalizing all the... You know, all the, you know, the drugs that aren't fun, the, the, the marijuana, scary. They're not legalizing any of the fun drugs. Are we going to have a war with Iran now? That's a scary thought. I just, that, that's, that, I think that's the thing that scares people, other than Latinos that are afraid of being deported. I think people are afraid of, you know, he's the commander-in-chief. What, what's going to happen there? And I read an article a few months ago. It was basically the, this election was, and maybe a lot, every election was a little bit this way. Are people more afraid of what Trump would do, or more dissatisfied the way with the way things are? And I guess there was a segment of the population that was more dissatisfied with the way things are. People forget about how bad things can get. Things can get very bad. You know, even if you're not happy with the way things are, you don't know how things would be. Imagine if we had four more years of George W. Bush. Imagine what the economy, what the economic state would have been if that were to occur. Hey, I appreciate the viewers. It's shocking. I don't think Trump would have been the worst Republican to get elected. Believe me, there were worse. Believe me, that guy sort of smiles at you and then stabs you in the back. There were about 16 of them. Was that polling for Hillary Clinton? Ultimately, yes. Bernie Sanders, he would have beaten Trump by 20 points. Would it have been nice to have a woman president? Absolutely. But Bernie Sanders would have beaten Trump by 20 points. What do I know, though? I predicted Clinton to win. I told everybody to go out and bet money on Clinton. Didn't happen. Appreciate you.